Okay, that was very strange. But, mm -hmm. had to get to uh, restart my game and it wouldn't even show. <laughs> so we're back now anyway. I was stuck in a tent for a standstorm. So again, well, we're stuck here in the tent. You know, just, and it seems kind of funny that a tent can protect us against everything. But a building of any kind, Adobe is the only one that protects you against the heat and the sand. That just seems a little silly. Granted, that wouldn't be the best protection, but it would be some. Wood may not be the best protection either, but it is, again, some. Wood has better insulation than thatch does. Of course, clay and Adobe would have better than that. But a metal, metal should be just fine. Yes, metal uh, eventually transmits as well. So metal could turn into an oven, or convection oven inside it. <laughs> All right, well, we're kind of stuck until that shield goes away. Yeah, I did bring plenty of berries, so that's not a problem. Although it does seem I'm out of water. Or at least my canteen is empty, I'm not out of water. Alright, so apologize about the little blackout there. We're, we are back. Just sitting out the sandstorm. Once that's uh, taken care of, we're good to go. Gotta grab some water in the canteen, that way if I end up in an area that's not around water, we should be protected. Could be covered anyway. Come on, Sandstorm, finish up. Come on. Are we there yet? Nope. Are we there yet? Nope. Are we there yet? No, we're still not there. Come on, Sandstorm, come on. This is not fun, Sandstorm. Can't even jump in this thing. It's hit my head right on the top. Not even making it to the top. Well, it should be over here in a minute or two. I want to go grab yourself a drink, a cup of coffee, whatever. Just sit down and relax. We should be ready to rock very soon. At least I'm hoping so. Sounds like it might calm down. Hey! Sandstorm is passing. Pick it up. Okay. Put your bow open, right? Yep, got my Draboa. Good. All right, one thing I gotta fix before we do anything else. Off these silly light shafts and bloom quality. There we go. Your gamma is default. Perfect. I think we'll run around long up here. A little less chance. Well, there's terror birds. Ha, can't get us up here. Billy terror bird. Oh, too far away.
Ray our landscape a bit. Oh, let's go over here. So again, you want to move on your without hitting the ground. Aim up at the whatever your target is. In this case, it's a rock. A little higher. And hit C, and then as it's ready, hit it again. Shoot again. Now we want to go over there. Release, launch. And with a little practice, you can make continual motion out of it. Oop, a little close on that one. And if we run out, then we've got parachute. You hit spacebar any time to repack that. You know, if something's running at us, if we have an overhang, this is a good way to get away from it. But just be aware, they might just stay down there at the bottom and wait. <laughs> and they can, because we can get up, cut it loose, and move. And just build momentum. So this is grapple, grapple parkour, or par grapple, however you want to say it. <laughs> well, kind of grappled when we, where we wanted, but I missed the ledge. There we go. That's what I wanted. Well, almost. <laughs> Got these nice relics there. Kind of curious. Well, what are they good for? See nothing else around. Hmm. Well, that doesn't really go too far, does it? It seems kind of pointless to have them here. We could grapple like from one to the other, but not really going anywhere. Hmm. Cute and all, but no purpose. Let's just be there for decoration. Loose and parachute. Well, if we want to play with parachute and grapple and reel in, we can do it right, we get momentum. If we don't bump into the rock, <laughs> have some of that momentum. Oh, so you can use this as an alternative travel mode. <laughs> as long as your feet don't touch the ground, that chute will stay open. Oops, too far away. Now with a reusable, it'll just, it'll say that one's consumed, but it won't leave the line out if you miss. Oop, bump the rock. Felt too high to do a just cause move. Kind of. <laughs> we got a couple of thorny dragons down there. So we definitely don't want to land right down there. I mean, we could outrun them, but it could hurt. So let's see if we can build a little momentum. Oh, not enough. 
Cut loose. Let me go. I uh, don't want to make that mistake twice tonight. Get up here where they can't bite us. Survey our surroundings a little bit. Well, we only got one one dog down there. No, we got two of them. Our levels here. Okay, so do we want to hang around here? <laughs> Not really. Not even a high level dog. But it's high enough to chew on us. Okay, weapons. What do I got? I got my sword. That's not going to be a good option. Let's see, what other what other tools do we have on us? Got a trank rifle. Well, nah. Oh, I got my phaser. Number five. Nice. Not the best or most effective weapon, but hey, it's working. Saber's running away. Wow, didn't know this had that kind of range. <laughs> Kill him? Ah, uh, we got him. Well, three, eight. Okay. Back to our regular schedule program. Oop. Disappeared. Far. Okay. Wow, that was a strong terror bird. Go away, puppy. We don't want you. <laughs> He decided to leave us alone. <laughs> Little scare tactic, I guess. Can you not grapple that far? There we go. That's what I was trying to get. We can play around up here some more. You definitely don't want to drop too far before shooting the next round on these. <laughs> you do, you're gonna it's gonna run out of line real fast. If you make it, well you get up here and, and take a break up here. <laughs> Not too shabby. So we got what? Green tower over there? Or is that the blue one? Looks like a more blue than green. That means that one was the green. That one looks white. Nope, it's green. There it is. There's the green bean. Makes me think my gamma is like way up. But no, it's just bright. Alright. We're going to cut ourselves loose. And do a little minor air travel here. So the red tower, that was the direction we were going. Nope, so it's just resetting because it can't reach it.
There we go. Now we're traveling again. Probably look like a uh, dangling popsicle or something for these guys. <laughs> Air delivered meal. Really? You couldn't go by the tree? I wish these uh, chutes had a little better steering. That would be kind of nice. Bye, puppy. <laughs> not playing, I'm not paying lunch with you guys. Ah, let's see him make that jump. <laughs> Yeah, see, now he's just going to sit down there and for a while and hope that lunch falls from the sky. Not going to happen. <laughs> yep. He doesn't even know where he went. Perfect. He'll have to look somewhere else for lunch. Oh, there's a cat behind us. And a scorpion. Jump. Parachute. And by the way, this is also a reusable parachute. Oops. Hope I don't get stuck on my own cord. There is a canyon that should be coming up pretty close that will go south and directly to the Red Tower. That's one of the caves. Kind of fun to go inside and play inside that canyon if we can get it. Could be, yeah, should be just coming up right here. Oh, I need water. We need to get water. Okay, something about an entrance. Oops. I think I missed. And I just ran into the wall. <laughs> Hope I don't get stuck in here. That's better. Now we'll get stuck over by the tree instead. <laughs> Interesting, it drops back down that far. Ah, I missed. <laughs> I'll get my timing back. There we go. Whoops. <laughs> well, made it quite a ways. So, you know, we could uh, cover quite a bit of ground pretty fast that way. Probably faster than just the running itself. We're pretty close to it. Of course, I do have about 150% movement speed. Too high. On that one, uh, when I missed or it went too high, 
you can see that it actually disappeared. The line just went away and then it resets. That's when you know you've missed. And there's the red tower. We're not too far away. Can I reach that? Nope. See if we can correct our steering. There we go. Aren't you supposed to be running? Thank you. All these pearls I'd love to stop and pick up right now. <laughs> Need to make sure we stay towards the high side, I guess, so we can have the rocks to go up. They get stuck on the little ones down here. Get back on track here. Well, it's further away. Thank you. Oh, too far away. <laughs> Anything to worry about below? Nope. Kangaroo looking at us like, uh, excuse me? I always have the C key, the crouch key, ready when you're using your, your uh, grappling hook just to disconnect, just in case there's a problem. Or you get mugged by wolves like I did. <laughs> So far, well, where have we gone on the map so far? Let's get up here for a moment. Yeah, let's take a look. Oh, well, we've made a little bit of progress. Now we've gone about halfway to the Red Spire. Not too shabby. It didn't take very long to do it. Of course, it'd be a little nicer if the uh, the computer didn't screw up and end up being nothing but a black screen on the, the stream server. Well, I guess, you know, technical difficulties, difficulties once in a while is not really surprising. Uh, I had pretty good luck with it so far. Oil jug bug. Almost made it up that. <laughs> and here come the insects. Fairbird. Bye, Terrorbird. Now, if you really want a lot of fun with a parachute 
And with a grappling hook, you can grapple onto somebody's bird while they're flying, pop your parachute, and go parasailing. Now, if my counterpart was on here, one of my other players was on here tonight, we could certainly demonstrate that. Uh, unfortunately, uh, I'm playing solo tonight. Excuse me. Excuse me, I didn't sign up for this. Really? Come on. Walk onto one of them. Thank you. That's not nice. Shame on you. <laughs> Broke my armor again. Yep, I have no armor. I'm running around the desert naked. Well, that's not very good. How's my health? Um, health is down a little bit. Food is way down. What? How can I have berries, but it says I can't eat them? Oh, I can't eat while I'm on the grapple hook. That's right. Gotta disconnect. All right, well. Since we have no armor, probably a good idea to go ahead and just head back home. Spam the food. And it'll let me eat. <laughs> and just keep on a running. get me that easy? Didn't think he was that much faster than I was. Yeah, the terror bird, I'm sure. They're pretty fast. Of course, I'm about to run out of stamina. Hoping to be able to get to some rocks before I get anything too close. I think that's uh, where we're going to have to take a break at. There. Can't get us up here. <laughs> They're certainly going to try. <laughs> well, let's see if we got any levels, any good levels. That'd be worth taming a ride back. Nope. Nah, they're only 112 and 84. Anybody else coming that's worthwhile? No. No. Well. Where are they going? Okay, so there's the 84. No doubt they're both going to be coming straight at me. So we got to see if we can make use of our uh, other tools here. thing is they don't move very fast in the water. <laughs> yeah, I know where we're at and it's a very dangerous area. Oh man, stamina. Ow, that hurt. That really hurt. Why can't I jump up there? Oh, it's because I have no stamina. And take two. Done. <laughs> well, that certainly didn't work out the what best, did it? <laughs> okay, so wasn't too far out. <laughs> okay, so we've got a regular bed here. Let's go ahead and 
spawn back there. Okay, so I'll play it around quite a bit with the grappling hook. Can be very entertaining. Make sure you've got some good strong armor. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm very hot. We're probably having a heat wave. One thing I gotta do, oh, I wanna go outside, grab a rock. Are there any rocks around here I can grab? There should be a couple over here. There's rocks. Come on, can you pick those up? No. Those are just cosmetic, aren't they? Well, darn. Got the berries, but there are no rocks up here. Bummer. Okay, we'll get one down in the riverbed. Oh, sorry, puppy. That kind of hurt, didn't it? Pearls and hopefully a rock somewhere near. Take advantage of the pearls, why not? Gonna need more electronics to fix my armor again. Okay, so let's go in here, go to craftables. We got four stones. We only need one. And we make the corpse finder. It appears on number seven on our hotbar because that's where we had it last. Telling us it's that way. Now yeah, well, this wolf, I have no problem taking into some really nasty places. It's just baller tough. <laughs> So we were up here and basically through. Yeah, shame on you, cat. Gonna bite us in the butt. Could be up here. All right, I'm not too far away. I think we hadn't quite made it to this arch yet, did we? Bodies right over there, so we weren't too far from home. Let's kill all the hostiles in the area. I mean, all the hostiles. Okay, a little Draboa. Get him. Get him. Take all my broken gear <laughs> and some of the gear that's not so broken. All right. Well, that was an expensive little outing for resources, but hey, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> Gotta have a little fun when you're out playing about in Ark. Break up the monotony once in a while. It's not all building and, and grinding. It's not all taming dinosaurs. Well, shouldn't be. And if you're not into PvP and you're on PvE, then you can go do silly things and just mess around. And it sounds like it's a probably a good time to wrap it up tonight. Mainly just because we got another storm coming in and I just don't want to have to worry about sitting out another storm in a tent. Looking at a blank wall while everybody else is waiting for it to be over. I'm just going to get us back to base. And, well, I did 
can get past the Odiferouses and all the other critters. Uh, I do want to show you something uh, that I found. And this is while I was offline, I wasn't doing any recording or streaming, I, but I did find a nice little trinket, we'll say. <laughs> but um, I think that might, might have to do for tomorrow. Well, I'll show you what it is tonight, and then tomorrow we're going to use it. That's if I don't find something better. Yes, 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 Trebella. Thank you very much. No storm's coming. Thank you. Anyway, I think the base is coming along quite nicely. Okay. Bang, you just stay there. Come on, will you close the doors for me, please? Thank you. All right. Well, I was poking around and... Notice here I've got a 898 Lightning, and I also found a 952. Being that 1064 is the highest I can find on this server, 952 isn't too far from the top. It certainly isn't the top, but it's quite capable of being just as badass as a 1064. So I think tomorrow we're going to actually hatch that, maybe both of them. And then hopefully we get a mated lightning pair that are high level. Not sure how I'm going to tell the other wyverns I've got the lower level ones that they're no longer needed. But they're no longer needed. Okay, so I'm not going to bore you with repairing my armor. I'll do that on my own. I don't come out here and cook to death. You can see the, the house turned out pretty nicely the way I think it looks pretty good uh, with everything. Got all our wyverns, you know, three main wyverns that we use. All handy right there on the lower level. All the rest of them are above them on the back. And there's a couple wyverns in the back of the house. And of course, you know, the glass bedroom. And got a thunderstorm coming in. So, we'll use this as a time to sign off. Yeah, uh, so, yep. Fuck naked here, or almost. <laughs> After an interesting and fun evening. So that's about all for tonight. I'll catch you in the next one. And punch that like button if you like it. If you didn't, well, thumbs down. You know where that's at. Uh, leave me a comment. Uh, tell me what you didn't like about it if you do thumbs down. So I know what to fix. And other than that, have a good evening. Uh, share as you wish. And I'll see you in the next one. And thank you for watching.